Well, howdy, friends. Brian Fleischig of Mad River Outfitters and the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools. Kelly Gallup, fishing for corn. We are here in the depths of Ohio. <laughs> sure we're still in Ohio? So we're putting on a big show at Mad River Outfitters tonight, uh, but we had about uh, eight or nine hours to kill. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd come uh, throw some streamers here on the Mad River, the namesake of our shop. So uh, <clears throat> we've got a couple of good guides, got a camera boat. So we're going to get after it and see if we can't stick a big brown. You know what's going to happen. We also have the owner of Montana Fly with us who's going to ride along behind yeah. and pop a giant while we're... You know how it goes. That's how it rolls. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it'll be fun. It'll be a hoot. So stay tuned. And you know, and you go, you go circle of life thing. You go zooplankton eaters, which are massively affected by zooplankton, are really affected by barometers, and moon phase. And so your moon phase, which is it, no matter what the barometer is, is, is a huge thing for that. Here we and go. Then, Here we go. Got one. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a fish. What color do you eat? Oh, look out! That little buddy. What do you eat? Barely. What is it? Sculpin? A sculler. Adios amigo. Target species? Beauty. Salmo truda. One, one, one of those trash fish like you got in the Madison. Yeah, exactly. So Kelly, you've been working uh, with Echo Fly Rods now for what, about? Uh, 10 years, 10 probably. Years. I don't know, something like that. Um, uh, Tim seems like a really great guy to work with and work for. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's one of them, so he knows, yeah. he, you know, he's such a great caster, he's, you know, world class, obviously, but uh, the, the key is that when you ask for something, he knows, he knows what you're asking for. Mm -hmm. When you say, I want it to flex here or there, he's just like, <laughs> instant, and so, yeah, it's pretty easy to work with him. Well, um, you know, the one thing that's really been striking to me, um, and I think this is really starting to resonate in our industry, is they build purpose-driven rods like mm -hmm. no other company. Yeah. I mean, when they build a rod, they build it for a reason. Yeah. And they don't make it from two weight to 12 weight. Yeah, it's niche specific. Right. And no, they so, build a rod for yeah. a specific purpose yep. and they build it as good or better than anybody. Um, I mean, for example, your rod, the, mm -hmm. the Streamer X, um, I think it's pretty uh, accepted now in the industry that that's probably the best streamer specific rod mm -hmm. ever designed. And particularly for the sinking line world. When we were doing this, you know, way back when I was trying to get companies to do niche rods and tell them that exactly what you just said, I don't need a series, I need a six and a seven or a seven and an eight, mm -hmm. right? It's a, uh, when we did the nymph rod, whatever, it doesn't matter. It just And so with Echo, it's, it's very precise, you know, and it's yeah. not trying to build a system and uh, they were, they just, they get it, yeah. you know, they fish, every one of them fishes and that's the big difference. Well, and uh, this is uh, a new rod they've just come out with this fall and Tim designed this specifically for Midwestern anglers, um, bass mm -hmm. anglers in particular, because a lot of what we do for smallmouth bass in the rivers is exactly what we're doing on the Madison. I mean, mm -hmm. we're throwing sinking lines, sink tips, intermediate tips, uh, and, and throwing articulated streamers, game mm -hmm. changers and stuff for smallmouth. And he, uh, I've been screaming for years from, with TFO and other manufacturers that have four letters, some with five letters. <laughs> uh, and they, they, I, I've been saying I want a shorter an eight foot, four inch, eight foot, you know, mm -hmm. eight foot, eight inch, eight foot, four inch. And, uh, and Tim came out to the Midwest with Phil Cook, our, our rep, and um, he made the rod. It's 
called the 8-4-B. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think it's great. I'm throwing sinking lines. I'm throwing your lines. I'm throwing floating lines, throwing bass bugs and, and hair bugs um, for largemouth and smallmouth. It's really the perfect bass rod. And it's also great for throwing streamers on these smaller streams. Yeah, exactly. Like this. And this cover. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's pretty it, open without the leaves now, but you can see how it would canopy on you yeah. really and, quick. And this shorter mm. rod really gives me a lot more control more quickly. Another rod that I think has been overlooked is that Trout X. We've got mm. one. Oh, and, yeah, the dry rod? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, we use that on the Madison, you know. Well, that's what I it's, brought <clears throat> to the Madison this summer. That's my, yeah. my go-to trout rod, that Trout X is... I, I think what they did better than a lot of people is they didn't jump on the super speed sticks to mm -hmm. they they build rods at flex right and you heard me talk about their their kit rods and everybody said oh you know kit rods it doesn't it doesn't matter they they flex to a zone that makes it comfortable to cast and they know where to put the flex like on that rod mm -hmm. you shorten a rod you know you could you could run the risk of making it too stiff in the midsection they just but they get it you know so the rod flexes where it belongs and they're not made to even though tim and Steve or you know two of the best distance casters well Steve obviously in history they didn't make their rods to just go out in the parking lot and jack up 80 foot line when the hell do I care if I can throw 80 feet if we're throwing 25 <laughs> yeah. I need the rod to load at 25 or 30 not yeah. at 80 right and they get that and they they did a they I, I don't know I've been with them a long time and I just I had very few rods I wasn't really comfortable well we've got three of my favorite fly rods right here on the boat the streamer x i fish mm -hmm. that religiously uh, anytime i'm fishing the larger waters and even here on the mad um, this 84b uh, turning out to be one of my favorite new rods that the stream yeah. the trout x is my favorite trout rod the other one i fish a lot is the prime the echo prime mm -hmm. i fish that thing for redfish for those sure. short quick casts you know eight foot casts yeah, some yeah. of those redfish um, that Echo Prime is a fantastic rod. So, uh, great company. I really think they're, uh, uh, in my estimation, probably one of the best in the business right now. I agree. Uh, yep. I so, agree. kudos to Tim. Some fantastic fly rods. You got Kelly's Streamer X. You've got the new 84B, which is a new favorite of ours around here in the Midwest. And uh, uh, I think it's safe to say uh, my favorite trout rod sounds like probably your favorite mm -hmm. tr trout rod and dry rod is the Trout X. So There's some rumor that I'm going to come out with a trout series. So there you go, Tim and everybody at Echo of Fly Rods. Thanks. Thanks for listening, and thanks for making uh, rods that we can actually fish. We appreciate it. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. And it really helps us out. And also, be sure to subscribe to the Slide Ins YouTube channel. Very, Please very do. good also. And you might see Kelly on there. Yeah, possible. Yeah. This is my channel. That's winter streamer fishing right there, huh? This is what it is. Had a blast. Beautiful river. Had no idea there was... I, I had no idea this was this beautiful down here. Well, we, we might... Then we moved some fish. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. One guy caught a fish. <laughs> From the back of the boat. Yeah, whatever. Won't hear the end of this one. Back but. of the boat fishing on uh, one of my olive sculpins that I've been uh, working on. You Where know, is this is a this is a really cool river. I'm glad you got to float that stretch. Mm -hmm. That's a nice streamer stretch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot different. Um, you know, and of course, every river is different, but mm -hmm. so much different than what we do at your place on sure, Madison. Sure. I didn't know there's a river this big and clean in the whole state. Yeah, <laughs> and it's right. gorgeous. And you can tell it's spring. I mean, it looks like, I mean, it's pure trout water, that's yeah. for sure. Well, there you have it, friends. That's a wrap. Our uh, half-day float on the Mad River with our great friend, mentor, spiritual guide, <laughs> Aim Kelly higher. Uh, so it's great to be on the water with Kelly and uh, <clears throat> to show him this part of the river where we streamer fish. Uh, we didn't do all that great. We turned some fish, but that's streamer fishing. So as always, friends, we appreciate you being here. Subscribe to our channel, it's free, and that way you won't miss an episode. And hit that like button and be sure to stay tuned. We've got a lot more fly fishing content coming your way. Don't forget to watch that video. Don't forget to watch this video. Yeah. And this one, too. <laughs> yeah. Cool.